This Saturday, the 21st of May 2011, a number of people are going to suddenly and inexplicably disappear out of the lives of their loved ones and family, leaving them behind to wonder what might have happened to them, worry about them. And this is nothing to do with prophecy, with the rapture. This has nothing to do with pseudo-religious and pseudo-scientific mumbo-jumbo. This, sadly, is the order of the day. There's nothing special about Saturday the 21st of May 2011 and disappearances like that sadly take place every day of the year. Some of these people decide to simply turn their back on everything and head off into the sunset unable to tell those they leave behind where they're going. Others are taking desperate measures trying to escape from a life that they have found to become unbearable to them and yet others fall victim to crimes and who knows what other mishaps but all of them leave behind families that need to cope with the fact that their loved ones are no longer there. But it is especially sad, I think, to think that there are some who have turned their backs on their families and their friends. As I've heard in the last few days, there are some who have actually done this quite openly, have completely left everything behind cut all their ties with everybody who loves them, who cares for them, in order to chase this crazy pipe dream of this rapture event that is supposed to happen on the 21st of May 2011. They've spent all their money on this, they spent all their time and energy on this, and they have rejected their families for this. And I can only imagine what it must be like for them to wake up on Sunday, the 22nd of May 2011, realizing that it was all a pipe dream, that it was all a waste of time, it was all a waste of energy, and they have lost it all over nothing. So maybe this whole rapture thing isn't really that funny.